Hey everyone, I've been getting a few questions on my other social media accounts about how I finish my guitars with translucent colors, so I thought I'd do a really brief overview on this channel. I hope this helps anyone trying this out for themselves. For the base coat, I apply two coats of Angelus Leather Dye Jet Black. I always apply a minimum of two coats to avoid any blotchiness or spots that may not have soaked into the wood evenly. I'll then let that dry until the following day. Using 320 grit sandpaper and a random orbital sander set to a low speed, I completely sand back the black dye until only the deepest of the grain remains black. I'll then apply the first coat of Mohawk Vinyl Sealer. I like this sealer quite a bit. It doesn't require any thinning at all. I just pour it in the gun, using a strainer of course, and spray it on. Cleanup is also simple with just a bit of lacquer thinner. I'll spray a total of three coats of sealer with an hour break in between each coat. I don't sand at all in between coats. I will let this sit for 24 hours before moving on to color coats. Not seen in the video, I sanded very lightly with Super Aselex 600 to 800 grit abrasive paper just to take out any fine sanding scratches I may have missed and remove any small debris that may have found its way into the wet coats of the sealer. I'll then start to spray translucent green nitrocellulose lacquer. The mixture I use is 70% clear Mohawk instrument lacquer to 30% reducer. I find this gives me a really even flow for my spraying technique, or the lack thereof. I generally like to use trans tint dyes to mix with my clear. Again, I'll spray two to three coats depending on how transparent or dark I want the finish to be with an hour break in between each coat. Keeping in mind the coats of clear will tint the final look of the guitar just a bit. The guitar will then sit for another 24 hours before starting on the clear coats. Time for clear coats. Using the same 70-30 mixture of lacquer to reducer with no tint this time of course, I'll apply a total of 9 coats, spraying 3 per day with the same 1 hour in between each coat. After every third coat, I'll let the guitar sit for a minimum of 24 hours to let the coats of lacquer off gas. I do not want to spray too many coats in one day. This could result in the lower layers of lacquer curing slower than the top layers and could cause hazing of the clear, or worse, cracks. It takes three days in total to spray nine coats of clear. I generally don't sand between coats of clear unless something really needs to be fixed. If I get a small run, I'll just continue to coat as normal and address the run in the finish sanding. If, however, I really mess up and the run needs to be dealt with, I'll wait until the next morning and scrape it just a bit with a brand new razor blade. This usually does the trick, and then I'll continue on as normal. As the coats progress, the shine will begin to appear. With the first few coats, the guitar may not look all that great, as each coat is pretty thin. But after a few coats, it will definitely improve. After the final coats of clear, this guitar will rest for 30 days untouched to allow the lacquer to cure and shrink back. I don't want to finish sand and polish prior to the 30 day rest. The lacquer will continue to shrink back and imperfections may reappear. And that's pretty much it. I hope this can help someone with their own finishing project. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. I do my very best to answer every question. Now go paint something.